following years, Regan and I had what might be described as a contentious relationship, but one that was generally respectful. The five years I spent living with Regan were five of the most formative and difficult years of your life, from 14 to 19. For me, those five years were kind of difficult. My naivety and ability to trust getting the better of me. My peers treat, never treated me very kindly, probably because I put up with a lot of it, but also due to a lack of understanding who I was, perhaps. However, in spite of all those challenges that beset our relationship, Regan and I always treated each other with respect. It wasn't long before her and I had a moment alone and she realized it wasn't quite like the other kids. To be frank, I'd seen and heard so much, experienced so many traumas leading up to that age, that I never really had a chance to be a kid. I always was troubled with burdens beyond myself. She helped, gr helped me ground myself and be more introspective. Regan wasn't one to entertain excuses though and expected the best of me. She got me my first job at Julian Rogers driving range and I hated that job, but she kept pushing me to do it anyway and it taught me a lot about tolerance and I still refer back to it all these years later. The next summer I lived with my mom and worked at, the at a convenience store and Regan spent that time brokering me a spot at our local corner store and they immediately hired me when 7-Eleven closed across, down across the street. I worked there for, some, for something like seven years and she was always suggesting something to fill my off time. She got me doing background work on sets as I was into drama at school. She convinced my dad to let me work with him and learn bits and pieces of trades. Ironically, she even took me to church events, but to her credit, I was something of a shit disturber and went on to challenge their budget once they cut youth money. What I'm saying is, in spite of our differences, she pushed me to pursue my passions and build on myself. In spite of never wanting to be a parent necessarily, she was a great one for all the things I might deem personal failings.